Needs new suspension. Coilovers. Lower it. Needs some low. It's pretty clear and obvious to everyone that Naki needs to lower this monster truck. You guys have been pestering me and Naki to buy coilovers for the Integra and that's exactly what Naki has gone and done. So we've just picked up some function form coilovers. I'll quickly show you them for the Integra. Here they are. Really nice. They've just got some grease all over them because the guy incorrectly sprayed our uh, grease instead of just on the threads to all of the coilover. And there's the uh, some more coilovers. So we're finally going ahead and lowering the car. It's going to be, it's going to look completely different, like a completely different car hopefully, and it needs to be done. So today I'm gonna to be trying to like do a full rundown on exactly what you need to do to install these coilovers. It should be pretty easy, it is a Jap car, it's not like my mate's BMW, that thing was crazy. I'll show you some before and after pics, obviously at the end. Uh, right now Nick is just jacking up the car so we can get to all the stock struts and all that, remove that. Let's move on to step number one, jack the car up. Also, don't forget to brake your nuts before you jack the car up. Otherwise, you're gonna have to get someone to put their foot on the brake. Next thing, remove the wheels. So this is what we're dealing with here. We've got a stock strut. You can see it's just placed behind this sweet double wishbone suspension configuration. Pretty high tech, eh? It seems pretty simple. All we need to do is, I guess, remove all these lines that are connecting to the strut itself. Just connect this part here to the bottom of the coilover, which just clamps onto the coilover. And it should be pretty straightforward forward from there. We're gonna also have to remove three bolts just at the top here. So okay. you're gonna have to remove the two bolts that are located under this strut bar. So obviously we're gonna have to remove this first. So here are the two top hat screws that I was just talking about. All you need to do is remove those two, disassemble everything from here, and then the whole thing should just come out. So you'll primarily need a 14 millimeter. Um, you'll also need a, a 17 millimeter. And I think that's pretty much it to remove all the bolts that you'll need to remove um, for to remove the stock strut. So just have a 14 and a 17 ready to go. So this brake line just connects to the stock strut, which the coilovers don't actually have. So what we've been doing, so this is what it's gonna look like once you've done. You're gonna put this zip tie around the uh, control arm or whatever you wanna call this after. Um, but it holds on pretty well, just like that. It's not gonna go anywhere. But that's, a, that's what you're gonna do. So the next thing is there's a bolt just behind um, the strut itself, so just behind here, and now he's got the gun in the right spot. It's a 14 millimeter bolt. We're just gonna remove that, um, which will release the actual strut itself, and then you'll be able to slide it out. We also are gonna be removing a bolt just, just here at the bottom of this arm, so we can drop the whole, I'm gonna just call the control arm, we're gonna drop the whole control arm. The strut will be free, and then we can come up here and undo these bolts. So my bad, that bolt is actually a 17 millimeter bolt at the end of that control arm. Nice. <laughs> so once Naki's done removing that bolt, all he needs to do is remove the top two bolts on the top that's actually holding the strut in place. Once he's done that, the whole thing will come out and then we can put the new one in. Oh, nice, that came out so much easier. Yeah. I'll get the, uh, the top nuts too. Top nuts? Yeah, I'll get it. Yeah. <sighs> So, now you can see that the coilover is in. Now we have a little bit of a problem. So this control arm, once it's in, won't actually reach up towards the coilover. So what you gotta do is, which is what Nick is doing right now, is bringing a jack over. This is gonna put this under and we're gonna jack it up. And when they line up, we're gonna put the bolt right through. So what I've done here first before we actually jack the car up is put this bolt in so the whole thing is clamping on the coilover itself. Then I'm going to go jack up and try line these two up because you can see that that hole there doesn't line up with that. So we need to jack it up and then stick it in. Yep, go. Go. Yep. A bit more. Stop. All right, so that's it. That's all that took to install these coilovers. That only took us about uh, 20 minutes. It would have been even quicker if I wasn't recording everything. But you can see that coilovers in, 
Um, all we now can need to do is now is tie this brake line down. We're just gonna thread that through to through the actual holes themselves and then cook it up and that'll be good to go. One quick thing that I forgot to mention is that you'll need some type R lower control arms to actually install the coilovers on the back of the car, unless they're fork type coilovers. These coilovers which Nagy has for the back, you can see that it's just one little bolt that goes straight through. However, on the stock one, this is how the stock control arm goes into uh, the stock strut, like goes around it, and you can see this stock control arm is very thin. However, the you can see that these Type R control arms have a spot just for the coilover to fit inside the control arm itself. They bolt straight on to the stock um, mounting points. It's very easy to get on. You don't have to do this, obviously, if you have a fork type coilover. But yeah, they were very cheap. I think Yankee picked them up for around 80 bucks. So yeah, you have to do that. So we have one more to go. This is pretty exciting because then we can actually lower the car and then see how the ride height is. Now, for the rear ones, it's pretty simple as well. The first step that we're gonna do is come underneath, remove this bolt here, holding the lower control arm there. Remove all the bolts holding this wire, as you can see. I'm gonna remove that bolt too, to drop the whole entire control arm. And we also need to drop this final sway bar link, and then everything will just come out. Then after that, we'll come on the top and we'll remove a plate and then remove the strut. But it's pretty easy to get this out and everything lines up, so it should all fit. Oh. Whoa. Uh. Mm -hmm. So this is the stock one for the VTIR, and then this is the Type R one. So the fork goes around here, whereas this one's an eye eyelet. So right here, all you need to do to get to the back of the coilover is just pop this little latch off, and there you, you go, there's the top of the coilover. Oh, this one would've been cut. Oh, easy. Nice. Oh, put that strut bar on in a sec. Naki's just got this all installed after as well. A lot easier than the BMW locker. <laughs> yep. <laughs> So it's the same thing again. You'll actually need to bring the jack over to line this coilover up with this hole right here. You can see that it doesn't line up right now, so you need to bring the jack to jack it up here, and then it'll all line up. And we're all done. Everything is fully installed. That install probably took around two hours, but we actually had a lunch break in between. So Nick is just going ahead and putting the wheels back on just with his new tool. Well, he's had that for ages, but he brought it here today. There you go, here's the look at the final job of the rear ones, you can see. Here, there's the new control arms in. We've gone ahead and just put a 10 mil bolt down in one of the holes for that wire. You can see that it's in a pretty sturdy position on both sides. Overall install, really easy. Um, only difficulty was probably uh, just putting the jack up to get those bolts to line up. Those were a little bit annoying, but we did figure it out in the end. We're gonna get the car on the ground, see how much lower it is, and see if we need to adjust it. Whole install went pretty damn well. Do I need to set it a bit? Yeah, oh, they definitely need to set in a bit because that did not make a difference. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh shit! Oh shit! What? Look at the back now. Oh shit! Oh, oh shit! Shit! What the fuck? Dude, that is so low. Oh, Holy shit! Hot damn! Holy shit! You don't need to adjust that at all. I told you, man. I told you, you. Ah. That's tucked as. Holy crap! That is crazy. Well, it passes the sh- Oh, that's gonna rub. Ashley, you might be alright. That is actually so low. Go on in the street. Oh my god. My car. <laughs> it's not a monster truck anymore. You definitely could go lower in the front though, I reckon. Yeah, definitely. Definitely in the front, but that is crazy. That makes the biggest difference. Like, I'll put a shot up of what the car looked like before this. And you'll be able to tell the difference instantly. Crazy, crazy. Okay, so we're just gonna get a quick ride in this thing and see how stiff it is compared to stock. Stock was extremely boaty and did not feel good at all. Well, it was actually really comfortable, but it wasn't, didn't handle very well, huh? Yeah, it's oh, like too low. It's, it's not too low, low. yeah, let's have a feel. Ugh. It's not as low as your MRT. Yeah, but it still feels low, huh? Right now, driving straight, feels very normal, yeah? Doesn't even feel like we've put coilovers on. No, it just feels lower. 
Yeah. So the coil lobes don't actually have any sort of dampening adjustments as well, so everything that you're feeling is not adjusted in any sort of way. The preload is set, obviously, like most coilovers. Turning good. Turning feels fine. We'll go over some bumps, so get on the street with all the speed bumps. Feel. Go first. Yeah, get first. Let's feel. Dude, it feels so soft. What? That's fine. That's fine. It's not even a problem. It feels fine. It's like even softer than uh, Lachlan's car, so... What brand are these again? Function and form. Function form coilovers, so... Anyone that watches Zosh will know. Zosh. People that have DC2s will know Zosh. Yeah, I don't have a DC2, so I don't know that guy. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, oh my, my god. god! So oh much my better! God. That was so, so easy. Yeah, holy crap. That was so easy. I didn't even move in my seat. That was, dude. Oh, fuck. They're not bad at all. Dude, I rate these collabs. So that was a pretty successful day installing coilovers. We didn't really run into any sort of problems. Like it was pretty simple, wasn't it, Naki? Too simple. Yeah, too simple. You got a weird cloth over here. <laughs> Naki's got a lip coming for his Integra. I don't know what else, what else are you gonna do. Nothing else? Oh, he's. We've also got some bride seats that he wants to install. Their reps, obviously, because we don't have the money for real ones. Uh, but yeah, overall install really easy. Didn't really run into any major problems. Like, we could have probably done everything in 45 minutes if we didn't get lunch. The end result was definitely worth it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.